I look around, I look around, I see a lot of new faces. <laughs> Shut up! Which means the first two rules of Fight Club have been broken. Man, I look around and I see the strongest and smartest men who ever lived. I see all this potential and I see squandering. God damn, an entire generation pumping gas, waiting tables, slaves with white collars. Advertising has us chasing cars and clothes, working jobs we hate so that we can buy shit that we don't need. We're the middle children of history, men. No purpose or place. We have no great war, no great depression. Because our great war is a spiritual war. And our great depression is our lives. We've all been raised on television to believe that someday we'd be millionaires, movie gods, and rock stars. But we won't. And we're slowly learning that fact. And we are very, very pissed off. No, no, I was making conversation. Sounded like that to me, Jordan. No, no, no. <laughs> Sounded like that. No, to constitute a bribe, I have to make an explicit offer of money for services with an exact dollar figure attached. Attached. According to the U.S. Criminal Code, that dog won't hunt, Pat. You know, I heard you were a straight arrow. That you wouldn't bend the rules others might. He was right. Did a background check on me. <laughs> well, I heard you were looking at me, so it was only fair. Plus, when you sail on a yacht fit for a Bond villain, sometimes you gotta play the part. So this is why you invited me to your yacht with a couple of hookers on it. Those are friends. To get a sense of the guy who's coming after you. You got me. Well, thanks for coming down now. Get the fuck off my boat. I'm not honest. What about your 12 brothers, Will? Okay. So you want to hear that I don't have 12 brothers? That I'm a fucking orphan? Is that what you want to hear? Yes, well, I didn't even know that. No, you don't want to hear that. Yes, I do, Will. No, you don't want to hear that I had cigarettes put on me when I was a little kid. That this isn't surgery. Will, I don't didn't tell know me you that. want to hear that. You don't want to hear that yes, shit, Skyler! Yes, I do. Did you ever think that maybe I could help you? That that's the point, that we're a team? What, you want to come in here and save me? No, Is that what no. you want to do? Do I have a sign that says save me on my back? No, Will, no, I don't want to save you. I just want to be with you because I love you. Don't bullshit me. Don't fucking bullshit me! You know what I want to hear? I want to hear that you don't love me. If you tell me that, then I will leave you alone. And I won't be in your life. I don't love you. So this is how it's gonna be, huh, Pete? What's that? One guy leans on another guy, and then suddenly the whole town looks the other way. Look, Robbie, Marty is only here to make his mark, okay? He's gonna be here for a couple of more years, and then he's gonna move on like he did in Miami and New York. Where are you gonna go? Let's have a conversation. Okay. What would you like to have a conversation about? Why don't we start with you tell me something about yourself? What would you like to know? Whatever comes into your head. Well, you already know my name. And you can see that I'm a machine. Would you like to know how old I am? Sure. I'm one. One what? One year? One day? One. He wants to get together again. Cool. So how long do you think I should wait to sleep with him? The more you make him beg for it, the more you've got him on the hook. Do everything but, then show him beneath that control freak exterior, there's a sexual deviant waiting to be unleashed. <laughs> I'm not a sexual deviant. Good point. If uh, memory serves us right, you've been out of practice for what? A year now? No. 11 months. All right, well, how often do you? Do I what? You know. Flick the bean. Flick the bean? I was not finished. The next thing to go will be your left eye followed by your right. And then my ears, I understand. Let's get on with- WRONG! Them. Your ears you'll keep and I'll tell you why. For every shriek that a child makes at your hideousness, you shall cherish. For every babe that weeps at your approach, for every woman who cries, Dear God, what is that thing? Will echo in your perfect ears. That is what to the pain means. I will leave you in anguish, rotting in your 
vile misery.